I think what they can do is very simple. They can help people more than what they're doing. My name is Floyd Weeb, and on January the 5th, 2003, my 20-year-old son, T.J. Weeb was murdered by four young men. My name is Tracy Porteous, and I'm the executive director of the Ending Violence Association of BC. I believe very strongly in the importance of a victim's bill of rights in Canada. I think far too many Canadians have no idea the extent of the devastating loss that people who have been victimized go through in the aftermath of experiencing violent crime. There's a lot that's changed. Um, a lot of policy and programs have been developed for 30 years, but there's a lot to be done. The justice system, for example, for many years has been wholly focused on the offender and ensuring that there are offender rights, and that's okay. Uh, but historically, we haven't really had a victim-focused uh, system. I think that these kinds of violent crimes impact people at the level of their soul. We grow up believing that people will only care for us, that people will respond. We grow up believing if we are good and nice, only good and nice things will come to us. We grow up believing, thinking that uh, the people that we care about and we love will never harm us. And we grow up believing that we should be safe in our own homes. So then what happens if we're victimized by not only somebody that we know, but somebody that we love, uh, we've victimized in our own home, we start to, uh, what starts to fall away is all of those kind of core beliefs that we lived our life from. One of the things that the federal government did several years ago was fund people across the country who could go to an offender's uh, parole hearing, wherever that might be. And generally speaking, they're not in the same city that you reside in. The prisoner is some other city. Right now, the, the current standing is the government will provide a victim, if required, 70% of the projected funds that they can, that they're going to incur to go to that city to attend the parole hearing. Well, the problem is a vast majority of Canadians cannot afford to do that. We know that a lot of people that are in this situation just do not have the finances to go, so they don't go and they're missing out on probably the most important thing that's going to happen since conviction. People are basically aware of domestic violence. They're basically aware that sexual assault is something that uh, happens to girls and women. Um, yet the services remain funded at the same level they were funded at 20 years ago. Um, yet the services remain the same in the number of services there are than there were 20 years ago. So when I think about the future, I think that every town and city and uh, township and reserve and First Nation across Canada should have their own community victim services. There might be those services in Vancouver and Toronto and Winnipeg, um, but what about the Paw or what about Bella Coola or what about uh, Rankin Inlet? Um, I think that we need to make sure that that anybody who's experiencing violent crime um, and all of the lifelong effects that go with that have what they need in order to heal. I think it's important that we really explore the fact that equitable access doesn't mean the same. So the services that a woman who's been sexually assaulted needs is different than the family who's lost their son to a gang murder. The services that a First Nations woman who lives in Northern Canada needs is different than the services that an immigrant woman needs who might have just come to Canada through a sponsored marriage. So I think it's important that we say that equity doesn't mean the same. So we have to make sure that our services are alive to the differences and strengths and diversity of the people that make up our country. What they can do when they tell the people we're going to give you 70% up front, we're going to do this. If that person says no, we need to find out, may I ask why? Is it because of financial restraints? Like, would it be easier for us to book your hotel, book your flight, get your cab, take you to the parole board, and then, you know, let you go home? Would that help you attend this hearing? The numbers would go up drastically. At least if we can bring some kind of equity and, and I think healing is the, best, is the best part of it. Help me heal as a victim. Let me know what's going on so that I can heal. And, and, and same thing with the offender.